like her a lot. Those little table mats. I don't know how closely you looked at them, but no, man, those are those are nice. Top quality. She's very talented. For She's and talented. Boring. Period. Very talented for being boring. Ah. He didn't mean to forgive him for what he said. Hi, everybody. Moaning, moaning, moaning. We have to make a quick trip. Just right up the road. We're not going to the big town. Um, I'm making some really fancy cookies for Joel's place of employment. I've never done anything like it before. It involves flooding and mistletoe and holly. And I don't have any mistletoe or holly. So we're going to go get some mistletoe and holly. And a couple other things. It'll be fun. It'll be good. I hope. Anyway. So I had something on my mind this morning and I wanted to I wanted to talk to y'all about it. Let's address this elephant in the room, shall we? First of all, we're in a vehicle, not a room. Yes, I'm wearing a seatbelt. You guys, just because you don't see the seatbelt doesn't mean I'm not wearing it. I usually keep it tucked under my arm. So don't freak out. We're law-abiding citizens. Okay. That's not what I wanted to address, though. Here's what I wanted to talk about. We do an awful lot of talking to you guys. But, Linda. But we haven't done any... Thank you. That's what I want to talk to you about. You know that YouTubers get on and they start their channels and they have goals. So we've never hit that. We have goals we want to hit. And we're not doing this for giggles. We are doing it so that we have, we, we can look back on our history. Hmm. We're doing pretty good on the giggles. I tend to laugh like a hyena at myself occasionally. Sorry about that. I know it can be annoying. Um, so yeah, there, there are goals that we want to hit. We can't hit those goals without you, and we know that. And we know that without you guys subscribing to us and liking our content and commenting and sharing us, we wouldn't be where we are right now. And we're pretty proud of where we are right now. We're, we're tiny, but we're moving forward. So that is all 100% thanks to you guys. We appreciate you. What we appreciate even more is developing friendships, personal friendships with you guys. It's awesome. And we've kind of made a promise to ourselves that no matter how big we get, we're going to maintain that personal connection. So this is all about community, and we are happy to be with this community. We, we've never had the the outpouring of, of support and love and everything like we... And the camaraderie. And, and, yeah, and the camaraderie, the friendships, we've never had that um, before. And who would have known that social media would be where we're getting the community from? Yeah. But it is a it is a specific community that I mean we fit right in with. And we are grateful to every single one of you. Yep. Every one of you. So I'm gonna throw this little challenge out to you. We need to get our numbers up. We need more subscribers. So, here's what I propose to you guys. Share us. Subscribe to us. Hit the like button. I promise you, things are gonna get real fun around here. We're still waiting on good internet so that we can put out good quality lives for you. 
but I'm telling you, it's about to get fun up in here. We're gonna give you bang for your buck, okay? So, and, and I'm not trying to tell anybody how to parent their fur kids. I'm just saying, maybe Biffy and Mitzi would like to subscribe to us also. We are pet friendly content. I'm just saying, I'm just, that's all I'm saying. I'm not telling you how to regulate screen time for your fur kids. I'm just saying, as a suggestion, maybe they'd like to get in on the action too. The point is, maybe you have a friend or a cranky Aunt Martha. A few giggles here and there. Share us out. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Share. Spread the love. Spread the love. Spread that stuff on everything. It's really good on the, on the uh, soft taco too. You, you and your soft tacos. I think it would just be mind blown if I made crispy tacos. Ooh, crispy tacos. Good too. I know how to score points with this one. <laughs> I'm gonna score big points too. When we get home today, I'm in the kitchen baking. And I'm gonna make these little things that have stuff on them. They're gonna be fabulous. Usually little things have stuff on them. See, I don't want to spill the beans in case I want to bring them along in the kitchen. Well, I think you should bring them along in the kitchen. You're not the boss of me. No, oh, but maybe people would like to see things on the, on the stuff. If you, want to, if you want to see me make little thingies with stuff on them, hey, <laughs> drop a comment. Come on in and join! Drop a comment. <laughs> it messes with the algorithm. <laughs> and depending on whether it's going to be warm or not this afternoon, I may stay inside and do some laser and maybe take you along on that. Who knows? Yeah. Hi, Linda. Put some images on stuff and things. And things to do with that whole thing. Yeah. Wow. Not only are That's we... deep. Not, not only are we vague, but we are profoundly vague. <laughs> <laughs> what else, man? Hey, so uh, those of you who are praying people out there, and I really hope that's all of you, because we need it. Um, for those of you who do pray, I'm going to make a special request here that you keep a very close friend of ours in prayer as she and her husband are going through some very challenging health issues. There are tests afoot and you know, things going on and God knows who it is and God knows God knows the, the particulars. But I'd ask you and you know Shoot good thoughts into the universe. Say a prayer. They could use our help. We would appreciate that. Um, what else you got, babe? Ooh. So, it's a little too cold to do the chicken coop today. So, we are going to spend the next few days getting all of our stuff together. We picked up some stuff yesterday. Yes, Tara, we did our own thrifting. And well, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna put it out. The coop is gonna be off the book. We're gonna deck the chicken halls like nobody's ever decked before. I don't know, you know, Tara though, she's got created creativity seeping out of every pore in her body. You know, she's gonna be a hard one to. Ooh, Ooh that was nice. That was pretty. Was 
he had a 57? We, you know, here's something that we've been bouncing around. We want to find a project truck. And I'm talking old. Old. Like 40s, 50s. I, I kind of like the idea of finding an old Studebaker. But, I don't know, you know. Chevy, Ford, whatever, it doesn't matter. So we're going to drop our own engine in. We're going to do all of the things. <clears throat> going to... I mean, we, we're talking about doing that. Because we've seen some beauties around here. And we have been talking for a long time about having a project car. And it's something that Joel enjoys doing. I enjoy doing it. I want to do like 15 coats of lacquer with the clear coat. And I've got this vision in my head, you know. In the sunlight it looks black, but you go under a street light and it goes purple. I, we've got ideas. Anyway. Plus the technology on paints has gotten so outrageous anymore. I don't even, I don't even know. I, I used to, I used to paint cars. I used to, I used to flip cars. That's one of the ways I got myself through college. At one point, I was selling more cars a month than AMC. Maybe you don't remember what AMC was, and that's okay too. But anyway, vehicle manufacturer. But anyway, what babes? What the? We? I keep cutting you off. Wait, what? What, what did you say though? You were starting to say something. Oh, okay. Just the technology's gotten pretty amazing with all the different sheens and shades and, and glitter bombs and stuff and things. Just the, I, yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't know if I can, I mean, it's a whole different pony anymore. So it's something new to learn, and we'll learn it. Yep, yep, we will. Anyway, that's what we're talking about doing. So, if you're around here, and you know if you're around here, if you're around here and you hear of anything, let us know. In an ideal world, this is going to be something that is out back behind Uncle Bob's barn that he forgot about years ago. Uh, you know, like I said, we're okay with rebuilding the motor, dropping our own motor in. I like to draw the slant six, and I do love the slant six. Somebody got talking about that in the live last night. Best engine ever. But then there is the 354 rocket. Anyway, if you hear of anything, if you know of anything along those lines, let me know. Hit us up. We're looking. You got anything else? No. Just like we were saying, greatly appreciate every single one of you. Every single one of you. Wouldn't be where we were at without you. Wouldn't be happening. We appreciate you, and we do not take it for granted, and we mean it from the heart. We are sincere when we say. said um i'm gonna get off of here we're gonna run in here and get our doodads and our hoo-hoo's and our stuff and our things our things and our stuff do what we gotta do and get this sunday out rocking yeah all right y'all be good be safe be kind keep that attitude of gratitude See you on the flip. See you.